Assalamualaikum to Sir Lomad Nur. My name is Nabila Madya. So me and my group uh, have chosen a basketball sport for this assignment. Okay. So for this assignment, the skills that we choose uh, in basketball is free throw. Okay. So for movement skills, uh, we have choose free throw. So under free throw, they have two. Um, primary movement which is our uh, open skills and closed skills okay so uh, if you see here open skills uh, it is occurs in dynamic environments which is uh, it is a uh, is happen in in a changing direction and then uh, open skill is more required to use tactical decision making for example uh, in a bas basketball court they have a lot of court people who um, uh, attend the game and cheer to the team that they want and then uh, skills and technique for opening team so many that here the players need to be able to um, know how the skills and technique that the opponents the opponents team want to want to make when they playing the basketball okay and then for the close skill close skills close skills is happen in the static environment which is uh, the players don't have to do any decision making when they playing the basketball. Okay, for example, uh, the players need the players need to standing still when they want to performing a free throw. Okay, next, uh, this is the phase of performing the free throw skills in basketball. So uh, the first we have three phases. The first one is preparation. Okay, for preparation, preparation is more focus on the position of the player when they when they want to do when they don't want to do the free throw skills okay for example the players need to uh, <coughs> need to standing still and open what your feet for balancing their body so the biomechanical uh, principles that happens here is the stability okay so the second one is execution so execution um more focus on the movement, how the players move when they want to performing the future skills. For example, uh, the players need to uh, bend their knees, and the players need to move forward their bodies, um, move forward their bodies to make uh, the ball um, towards the hook. Okay, so the biomedical principles that happens in this phase is maximum force maximum velocity and also impulse okay the last is recovery recovery is more focused on the position of the throw the ball meaning that here the players need to uh, be in a recovery position so this is meaning that uh, this is because when the players are uh, throw the ball performing their future skills they have to uh, be in a recovery position for balancing their body so this is to prevent any injuries to the player okay next we take a look at the muscle or bones that involve in free throw skills in basketball so when we want to perform in the free throw skills so these are these are the muscles that involve so the first one is hip muscles which is the gluteus muscles we have our ankle extensor knee extension calf muscle shoulder flexor forearm muscles and also elbow muscles triceps and also biceps so these muscles are occurs when we want to performing the free throw skills in basketball my name is dalia binti ad alias sadalani now i will continue to explain about uh, form of motion in technique free throw basketball. The first one is linear motion. There are two types of linear motion. The first one is curvy linear motion and straight linear motion. When completing a basketball shoot, the ball travel under the parabolic five parts. This is class uh, as a motion known as projectile motion. There are a number of factors that affect the projectile motion of a free throw they include speed of release and angle of release and height of release the parabolic part occur for a number of reasons this reason being gravity and air resistance for a six foot four player the optimum angle to release is approximately 51 50.1 degree 
However, this does not take into account the speed of ranges. By increasing the height of the parabolic arc, the target has become large and increase the release angle would increase the amount of force required for the ball to get to the hop which may reduce the arc of the shoot. Next is a uh, rotational motion. Rotational motion, rotational motion occur at each of the bend fracture within the body. For example, for an effective shoot, the knee should be bent at optimally go degree. However, as the shoot begin and pass from passes from the to, to the knee, the bone will rotate around the knee, factor rating rotational motion. Rotational motion will also occur for the ball when it has left the player hand. If the shot is complete successful, the ball will undergo backspin. When it is happening, the ball is rotated thing around its axis which is known as rotation motion. Next, a uh, lever system technique in technique free throw basketball. The first one is second plus level level plus four which is for power and third class levers level speed. Both a uh, second class lever and third class lever uh, present in a basketball free throw. The first third class lever is found in the elbow and forearm as the shoot is being taken. A third class lever is classified as the force begin in between the exist and resistance. Other example for a third class lever is, is the wrist. A person with long arm or limbs have more speed in the so they should. However, long limbs require more force to move. Thank you to Dahlia for your presentation. Right now, uh, I will continue with my presentation. So, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ahmad Sofabi Abdullah, alias Muhammad Sabri, and right now I will present to you about kinematic and kinetic analysis. Next slide. Okay. Actually, the purpose of analysis is a jump shot in basketball is any shot attempt performed while jumping into the air and the shot is generally used to get leverage about above a defender to get a better look at the hook and to get more strength on the shot the jump shot is one that is used by almost every player as it is a very common and comfortable shot someone who has a jump shot is usually one of the more talented and popular players on a team the ball should be in a bad spin and you're on your way to scoring a bucket and after the ball is released, try and land in the same spot you, you jump to make sure you are balanced. In follow, through wrist, should uh, be relaxed on the way down and finger still pointing at where wanted to shoot. The muscle used in jump shot is quadricep, front of tight, straighten the knee joint during jump. Besides that, hamstring, back of tights, bend knees before shot. Shoot, shooting ability is something that is distinctly uh, admired, especially at the coll collegiate uh, and pro level. The basket play, play up shot in a very injured prone skill. The knowledge of biomechanics will help to find out the factors or the force that can lead to the injury during the game situation. It also help in reducing the sports injury. So, <coughs> uh, next slide. Okay, for the video setting, uh, the subject is 
uh, subject the subject uh, height of subject is a uh, 171 cm and the rimboard height is 3.05 meter. Okay, that is the video setting or the technique of the free throw. Next slide. Okay. So for the analysis, I will pass to the next presenter. That is Nur Hidayat bin Osman. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum. Okay. Uh, thank you for the pre previous presentation, uh, which is uh, Abis. So uh, I will continue my presentation. Okay. And now uh, my name is Nur Hidayat bin Osman. So <coughs> we go through the we go through to the analysis. Okay. Uh, this the analysis uh, for the subject. Okay. Uh, in Kinovia, uh, we use for the height of the subject is uh, 1.71 meter, <coughs> and the rim board is uh, 3.05 meter. Uh, okay, so the rim board is the the game board. Okay, the the according for the game. Okay, next. I will discuss about the rope, uh, the degree of the knee. Okay, if we look at the uh, wrist motion of bent arm, when the subject want to do the standby jump shot, is the 100 and 127.4 degree. Okay, uh, that is uh, the arm when when the subject want to standby jump. Okay, and then uh, look at the range of the motion knee to standby height jump is 151 degree. Okay, if we look at the picture, we know that the subject, uh, the subject will bend the knee until 151.6 degree. Okay, that's mean uh, the subject want to the want to do the standby to the jump shot. Okay, next. Okay, this the the subject want to do the height jump. Okay, in the position when the subject want to the jumping. Okay, we look at the orange color. Okay, the orange color means that uh when the subject want to height jump. Okay, so the higher is a zero point. 97 meter. Okay, that is the starting point when the subject want to jump. Okay, so uh, the subject bend the knee. Uh, we look at the room room of knee. Okay, the subject uh, can do bend the knee until for the 132 degree. Okay, then uh, the arm also bend. Until for eighty nine point eight degree. Okay, so uh, we look at the next slide. Okay, okay, this the subject uh release the ball. Okay, it will get uh the force from the energy. Okay, so uh in this context, okay, I will show uh when the subject through the ball okay it will uh, it will release the force of the velocity okay if we can look the pink color okay pink color and the the time so the speed of the ball we can reach uh, at the 6.222 second 22 millisecond and then uh, the The time is 0.13 second. So that's mean uh, when the subject through the ball, that's it, the high speed from the subject. Uh, if if want to release the force. Okay, so the the ball can go faster and can make the ball curve into the rim board. 
So, uh, next. Okay, this the subject <coughs> uh, release the ball. Okay, when the subject jump height, it will increase the height up to the 0 0.57. Okay, that's mean the subject will jump height into 1.54 meter. So, uh, the starting point of the jump is 0 0.97 and then uh, when the subject go go jump height it will increase 0 0.57 so while in jump position the leg will straight okay if we look at the picture okay we know that uh, the in the kinobia we see uh, the the bend of the knee uh, it will straight which is 173.1 degree and the the arms also go straight while shooting uh, that means uh, release the ball okay so the arm can do uh, 159.4 degree until uh, go through the rim board so uh, we can look the speed of the ball can go faster and and the speed of the ball uh, can reach at the 6.24 millisecond okay in the air the ball will go uh, curve curvely so uh, the ball will go uh, into the rim board so uh, that's it from me uh, for about the Kinobia okay so I will pass for the next presenter okay thank you Hidayat okay now I will continue to present about strength video analysis okay for strength we have three strength in this video analysis so the first one is greater ecology validity psychological and physical fidelity okay second is stronger representativeness through virtual and behavioral correspondence the last for the strength and video analysis is more enjoyable and relevant than screen-based approach okay next okay so for witness video analysis we are also have three which is the first one is limited ability incorporation of perception action loop second is motion sickness risk and lastly is current approach have used stationary footage due to limited opportunities for camera movement okay next so this is how to ma maximizing skill jump shot basketball Okay, so the body stands uh, two or three feet with, uh, directly in front of the basket and assume a jumping stand. And the feet are shoulder with a width apart and parallel to each other, which is one foot is slightly ahead of the other. So although both feet are entirely incorrect with the court, uh, almost your entire body weight uh, should be on the ball of the feet and distribute equally on both feet so your shoulder should be square to the basket and slightly ahead of your hip of your hips which should be directly over the midpoint of your feet and then your head should be erect okay okay now i will pass to the next presenter thank you okay so for the conclusion uh, when we want to perform any basketball skills, especially uh, free throw skills, we must have the power and also strength. Uh, this is because free throw skills include momentum, open skills and close skills, velocity and also accuracy. So in basketball, focusing and also aiming is very important things uh, when performing the free throw skills. Yeah, so that's all for our group. Thank you.